are you, Scott? Very good. How are you? Scott Prada, one of the uh, main people uh, responsible for the new Nissan Rogue, right? Yep, that's me. So this car is what, the second generation of the Rogue? Yeah, second generation. It came out into market what, 2008? 2007 as so, a 2008 model. Okay, yeah, like yep. years get confused nowadays, <laughs> <Yeah>. right? <laughs> we're, there, we're in uh, 2013 and uh, we are already seeing 2014 model cars and some 2015 in some, <laughs> some cases. It's kind of crazy, right? So, um, uh, what's new in this car? Yeah, there, there's so much uh, that's new with this vehicle. First, obviously, the design. It's a, it's a radical redesign. We've gone very uh, progressive in the design, very uh, muscular, very aggressive in the front, um, appealing to both males and females and pretty much everybody. Uh, the size of the vehicle, um, it's surprisingly, it's a little bit shorter vehicle. Oh, really? It's about a uh, half an inch shorter, but the wheelbase has been stretched about half an inch. Uh, it's a taller vehicle, it's a wider vehicle, so what that does is gives you significantly more uh, interior passenger and cargo space. So the, the previous generation only had two rows of seats, this one That's could correct. have three. Right, there's an optional third row that wow. uh, expands passenger capacity from five to seven. Something else that uh, hopefully you've noticed is a significant improvement in the uh, interior and exterior material. Yeah, a lot of nice, everything, uh, nice thing. Is, everything you touch is, is soft. soft. Yeah. This armrest, your armrest to your left, very soft. In terms of you have very uh, high quality premium vent finishers, lots of chrome, piano black. On the outside as well, there's a lot of chrome surrounding the, uh, the glass in the front. We have the signature B-Motion grille in the front. So, so a significant improvement, not just in the size and packaging, but the overall materials, the, the quality. Um, there's a whole new host of IT features. This is the uh, seven inch Nissan Connect navigation. In addition to the standard navigation, you have uh, Nissan Connect apps. So you get things like Facebook and Twitter and uh, Pandora radio connected directly from your smartphone into the head unit. Um, everything from Bluetooth to rear view camera to streaming audio, USB, those are all standard on every vehicle. Additional technology, um, the dual zone climate control, the five inch meter um, are available for the first time on the Rogue. Another key story is fuel economy. We've made significant improvements. The outgoing vehicle is at 28 miles per gallon. Yeah. On the highway, this one is at 33. That's wow, an 18 percent that? improvement. Magic. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what I thought, but it's uh, it's a combination of a uh, improved engine with some additional variable valve timing, next generation CVT with significant improvements in friction, significant improvement in aerodynamics. We go from a 0.36 coefficient of drag down to 0.33, and what we call mass management. Um, the vehicle hasn't lost weight. Uh, but what we've done is for a vehicle that's improved significantly in what we call interior volume yeah. and surface area, the mass has, has been managed considerably. We have uh, everything from an aluminum front hood to a composite rear uh, hatch. Um, significant improvement in uh, amount of uh, ultra high strength steel. So you get the same rigi rigidity from the steel while using less of it. So all that combined leads to uh, that significant 18% improvement in fuel economy. Uh, this car starts at a what? About what's, what's the price range? 22,490 is where you start for an S-grade front wheel drive. And then if you go all the way to the top? Uh, when you go all the way to the top, that would be an SL, all wheel drive with the premium package. You're uh, a little bit over $31,000. And again, with for that kind of money, I mean, it used to be like you wouldn't get much in a car. Like right, you, now you get a lot of things, right? Yeah, that's uh, at that thirty-one thousand price point, you get everything. You get leather, you get the eighteen-inch wheels, you get the power panoramic moonroof, the, the navigation, the around view monitor. I can keep going. Yeah. Dual zone climate control, the apps, everything. Uh, and now talk about a little bit of uh, the chassis control uh, system that you have in this car. Why is that? Uh, with the, the new row, we're introducing a new system we're calling the suite of confidence-inspiring dynamic technologies. Uh, to make you, the driver, uh, more confident in your drive, there's three components to it. There's active trace control, there's active engine braking, and there's active ride control. All three of these systems are basically monitored by the same controller. It's using the existing sensors, the wheel speed sensor, the uh, steering angle sensor, the uh, the sensors that monitor pitch and yaw. And so what it's doing is it's, it's, for example, on the active trace control when you're going into a curve, 
it's uh, monitoring your speed and your um, wheel angle. And what it does is as you're entering and as you're exiting, it's manipulating the brakes through the VDC. So individually you can brake, so it helps you maintain that line, that trace line, line as you're going through the curve. Yeah. And as you're coming out as well. What active engine brake does is in in a when you're driving and you're decelerating coming to a, a signal or a stop sign, it actually applies a little bit of engine torque to give you that engine oh, brake. Okay. It's it's very subtle. It's uh, it's completely in the background. So what it does is it uh, it reduces your um, the requirement for the driver to put that much uh, pedal effort. And when you're taking some of the, the milder curves, where you would as you're taking the curve, it applies a little bit of engine braking. So um, it uh, just helps you as you're um, handling through the curves. Wow, pretty impressive demonstrations. I mean, like you can really feel how the the car makes you safer. I mean, this wasn't a, a very dramatic uh, demonstration in terms of heavy braking or curving mm -hmm. and all. But you actually feel, especially when you like going in, uh, over the, the bumps, right. it really helps you to right. feel more comfortable, right? right? And that's the purpose of it. Exactly. Well, thank you very much again for your time. Thank it was uh, you. very impressive. Uh, congratulations on a beautiful new Nissan Rock. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.